All right, tonight's find, Predator, 3200, 4000 watt. Um, it will not start, except on starting fluid, so I'm sure it's just the carburetor, and we'll go through it and get it running. Okay, so first things first. Um, I'm just gonna pull the drain screw on the carburetor, see if anything comes out. Maybe I'll get lucky and it's just water, um, but probably not. Um, this generator is four years old. According to the person I got it from, it was used for five hours, four years ago. And when he went to try to start it again, four years later, it did not work. And, uh, you know, take it for what it's worth. I don't know how much of that is true or not, but, you know, the fuel petcock is on. So I'm guessing he just left uh, fuel in there for four years, maybe untreated. Smell too good, so it's, I'm sure it's old. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm just gonna pull this off and see see what we're dealing with here. Well, it smells pretty bad, but it actually looks pretty clean. A um, few particles in there, no water. So I'm guessing it's just a clogged main jet and uh, bad fuel to boot. So I'll clean out that fuel and uh, clean out the main jet, probably pull the whole carb off and give it a bath and hopefully that brings it back. Okay, so actually before I completely take this apart, I am going to just try to start it um, to show you that it does not work. So we got on, this is a choke, which is on, and we'll give it a pull. So, let me take the carb off. Yeah, I seem to see a little bit of varnish here. Um, <clears throat> the main jet, I don't know if you can see in there, but it does look like there's some gunk on it, so let me see if I can get that out. You see a little bit of light. Let's 
see what else we have here. Yeah, pretty clean, so I'll give this a bath anyway. Um, it doesn't look completely clogged, but it is clogged. So uh, hopefully that's all it is, is right there. And yeah, the rest looks pretty good. It's a lot better now. Um, let me see if I can show you that. So that's opened up a lot more. Um, I used a torch tip cleaner. You got to be very careful not to remove any um, brass. These do have a bit of a, a rough edge, which I kind of like, but. Um, you can tell if you're hitting metal on metal or if you're hitting some sort of gunk. So um, before I put it in the ultrasonic, I like to kind of break up the main blockage. So at least, it, you know, the, the cleaning agents can then get in completely and hopefully uh, clean the rest out. So uh, for that, I just use a Harbor Freight degreaser, which works very well. Okay, so you can see it's been about 10 minutes, and uh, you know, this started off a nice kind of yellowy color, and now you can even really see the bottom. So anyway, I'm going to take these pieces out, just rinse them out with water and dry it with air, but you can see now it's looks like new, all the varnish is gone, it's nice and shiny. Same thing with the float. Almost like new. Somewhere and there is the jet at the bottom. And the pilot jet. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to rinse these off, uh, blow them dry, and and reassemble.
Okay, so this was the pilot jet for low speed. And this is the idle screw to control the idle speed, which uh, on a generator really isn't uh, used because they always run at 3600 RPM. So I'm just going to bring it in so it just touches. Just to show you again the after, quite a bit of light going through there. I did not actually pull out the emulsion tube. I don't think this one comes out. Um, oops, we just lost our light here. Okay, so <clears throat> I apologize. We'll use our backup light. Sorry, let me just get a new battery. I'll be right back. Good. Alright, that should do it. Bolt it back on and give it a try. Okay, let's bolt it back on. I'm just going to let the bowl fill up with fuel for, for uh, about a minute. Make sure there's no leaks. And uh, if there's no leaks, I'll just finish putting the, uh, you know, the airbox uh, cover and cleaner on. And uh, bring it outside and see if it runs. All right, that's it. That's disgusting. I need to clean this up before going to bed. We'll uh, bring the generator out in the morning and give it a go. Okay, not the nicest of days, but no. now we're gonna find out if this thing works. Um, if you remember, the main jet was partially clogged, so I'm surprised it didn't run a little bit. So I don't know for sure if, if cleaning the carb is going to fix this. The guy I got it from said this was, had five hours on it, if that. You know, and I, you know, who knows what to believe, but I did go to check the oil and I noticed two things. One, it was overfilled, but more importantly, the oil looked brand new. Um, like the engine had not even run for an hour, so I was kind of glad to see that. Um, anyway, so I'm going to try starting this so I can get out of the rain. 
see. Check. On. On. Uh oh. Okay, not bad. I got about a thousand watts on it right now. I actually don't want to load it up too much since the engine probably isn't even broken in. Um, so I guess the last thing is I'll just check the uh, the voltage output, make sure it's 120 at about 60 hertz, and uh, it should be good to go. Okay, voltage is right on. The is a little high, but there's no load on it, so let me put a small load on it to see um, if this gets back to the good Yeah, the engine's going too fast. I'm going to slow that down a bit. Okay. I don't know if you can see here, but there is a throttle adjustment screw right there and turning it out will loosen the throttle tension so I'm going to do that while it's running with no load and bring it down to about 62 Hertz and then I'll put a half load on it and it should settle closer to 60 which is kind of where you want it because then when you fully load it it's going to drop below 60 so you kind of want it to be on average, you know, as close to 60 as you can, but uh, it's not gonna be perfect, but 64 is definitely too high. So let's uh, try to adjust that. to this 63 range, a little higher than I normally like, but that half load, it was, well, it was actually a little less than half load, it was dropping down to 60 or a little below, so, you know, maybe the governor on this doesn't adjust as well as some others, which is why it was probably set at 64 from the factory. So, um, anyway, let me put a, a load on. So that's a th almost a thousand watt load. So, might bring it down a touch, but I think that's pretty good. <laughs> 